good morning children today we will study calculation of molecular mass and density with the help of ideal gas equation which we had seen on the last term our ideal gas equation is pv is equal to nrt where p i told you is in p is pressure in atmospheres v is volume in liters n is the number of moles of gas r is gas constant 0.082 liter atmosphere per kelvin per mole and t is temperature always in kelvin now this p is equal to nrt equation is known to us our ideal gas equation then if we have to calculate children anywhere number of moles of any species any substance it is always the given mass divided by molecular mass so i said small m is equal to given mass of the gas here because the gas chapter we are dealing with and capital n is the molecular mass of the substance so small n which is what is small n small n is equal to number of moles of gas so if i want to calculate number of moles of any substance let it be here gas it is equal to given mass divided by molecular mass very well known to you all from class 10 also then we also know d is equal to m by v mass per unit volume so i can say m is equal to dv i wrote here one thing so this was known to us this was known to us and this is known to us this is the other form now children i have just now just now seen that n is equal to m by v so in place of n in this equation i wrote small m upon capital m which is in place of n rt fine i gave this form i learned this form but i changed this my n by this m by m given mass divided by molecular mass now i am writing this equation now in a different manner in place of this m i am writing dv so i am writing pv is equal to dv in place of this m dv upon capital m rt correct so this equation in place of this m i wrote this and i got this form okay now v v got cancelled so p is equal to d by m rt p is equal to d by m rt fine or i can say m is equal to p will come here d rt by p best is take it pm pm is equal to d rt easiest to learn simplest form to learn so children we use one this form one equation p is equal to n rt and second equation which we will use is pm is equal to drt this was known to us this was known to us and these are the steps to get this equation so one is you need to remember this equation and the second you need to remember this equation very frequently you are asked question based on this in almost all the exams uh, whether it is a coming test definitely it will be there or it is your uh, half yearly exam or final or wherever you have from this chapter if for class 11th good questions are framed they are generally from this because children boys class charles was very kiddish now so and this is known to you so here m was given mass small m capital m is molecular mass children we sometimes we call it molecular weight we are actually not very correct when we call it molecular weight children weight is totally different w is equal to m into g you know from physics g is gravity there gravitational pull so children what happens like uh, uh, our mass remains whatever is on earth same on the moon but weight changes on earth and moon because the g is different we know w is equal to m into g from physics we all know with the result it's better to call molecular mass and not molecular weight right that's why we don't use w here given mass small m capital m molecular mass are we clear so this is how one equation ideal p is equal to nrt ideal equation and then from that only we got pm is equal to drt where again p pressure in atmospheres m molecular mass not that molarity of that chapter and d is density we all know d is equal to density r is gas constant with this value T is temperature in Kelvin. I repeat, 
in the previous chapter small m was different in the chapter of uh, uh, mole concept small m was your molality and capital m was molarity here it is not that i hope that point is very clear so no confusions a small m is given mass and capital m is molecular mass thus with the help of this formula pm is equal to drt or this equation can be used in this form you are asked many questions uh, in the coming you will be asked questions in the coming tests and exams and they often ask so again i'm telling you we will do one question of maximum two where you will go back home you will open your book and you will see some solved examples if i do one here you see three four at home i'm not saying you do 10 20 you revise even if you do this much which i'm doing in the class will also be pretty enough for you but try it yourself with full honesty and sincerity what all we'll take up in the class can also be of tremendous help to you and if you go on adding up at home nothing like this more practice better you learn so for this video we stop here thank you children